family, I hope that you are happy and whole and well and all that good stuff. The intention of this video is to share a little background about smudging, about smudge bowls, and really to fulfill a wellness community request, specifically by Chi Chi, who wanted a personal smoke bowl tutorial. She was like, Queen, how do you make your smoke bowls? We need a tutorial. So here is the tutorial, Chi Chi. At the end of this video, you'll see a full detailed you know, tutorial of how I do my smoke bowls. But first, let's get into a little history of smudging. Why do we smudge? What's the purpose of smudging? How do we smudge? Let's get into smudging it. Smudging is the practice of burning medicines, herbs, roots with the intention of releasing a smoke. Now, within that smoke are the various properties that are native to the specific herbs or medicines and roots that's being burned. Now, I say herbs, medicines, and roots, but essentially it's all traditionally used within the same context. Various parts of the herbs like the roots or the stems or the leaves or the flowers are used for smudging and smoke bowl practices. Now different herbs have different purposes. Different parts of different herbs have different purposes and different properties. But when we burn them, we essentially release some of those properties and we can inhale them and use them for healing. We can use them to cleanse and clear energy to attract certain energy. That is usually what the purpose of using smudging, the practice of smudging is for. It is to release and attract certain energies. It is to heal the body. Some herbs can heal the body like med a mullen. Mullen is an herb that's good for the lungs. So some folks will smoke or smudge and burn mullet in order to help heal the lungs. Things like dragon blood, which is an all-purpose healing resin or sap. Various herbs have various properties, but the most common forms of smudging is using sage, cedar, sweet grass, um, frankincense resins, dragon's blood resin, sandalwood, various things like that. But again, all of it is done with the intention of burning the specific herb, medicine, roots, with the intention of releasing energy, attracting energy, and or healing the body in one way or another. Now, smudging can be done a multitude of ways. The most common form that we see now is people using smudge sticks, which is essentially sticks of herbs that are bundled together and people will light the stick of herb. You'll commonly see white sage sticks, cedar sticks, uh, sweet grass sticks. Sometimes you'll see those herb sticks or those sage sticks they'll be wrapped in like lavender and various flowers rose petals but anything any herb any aspect of the herb including the petals like rose petals which is the flower including the stem the roots and all that good stuff any aspect of it any part of it can be burned the most important thing is to know why are you using that part so i would heavily advise that you research the herb that you desire to burn or maybe research the intention that you have for burning an herb and see what herb is aligned with that intention see what part of the herb is it the root is it the stem is it the leaf is it the flower what part of the herb would be best aligned with the intention that you are using it for go get your herbs add it to a smoke bowl or maybe make a bundle of it and turn it into a smudge stick and you can burn them in your home and really you can smudge anywhere folks smudge inside outside at home at work anywhere they go i know for me anywhere i go i'm gonna smudge a little something even if i use an incense and yes an incense can also be used as a smudge stick so you don't have to necessarily gather the herbs per se and do a smoke bowl or a smudge bowl but you can just get an incense and burn that but if you are going to do a smoke bowl it's important to note a couple of things you can use anything as a smoke bowl family okay the most common ones we'll see are like the cast iron cauldrons or little bowls which I have we'll see shells a lot like seashells people will use or various types of shells we'll see that and people put the herbs in there or in the cast iron cauldron some people have like mini cast iron skillets which I think is so dope and so cute and they'll put the herbs in there you can use whatever you want though you can get a piece of aluminum foil and make a bowl out of that real quick and put that in there you can use an old uh heat resistant cup like an old teacup or something that, that you may have and put them in there the key is knowing that you can line whatever dish that you have accessible you can use an old pot if you want to but anything can be turned into a smoke bowl okay all you need is a space a place that you can place the herbs in put the charcoal on top and burn them and yes i said charcoal 
on top because I'll get I get into that in the tutorial. But yeah, put the charcoal on top. It's, it's it's a good important tip. Now a very important tip to remember is always state your intention for adding the herb when you add it to the smoke bowl. Why are you adding that herb? What is the purpose of it? So as you are putting the herb in, state your intention for it and be sure to mix your smoke bowl well. Okay, you want to make sure that when you are burning your smoke bowl, all herbs are being used at one time. Another good tip is you don't always have to use charcoal. Shout out to Farah. She had mentioned that, uh, you know, charcoal, burning charcoal indoors is a carcinogen, right? So burning charcoal indoors, especially with the window closed, which you shouldn't have the window closed when you're doing a smoke bowl anyway. But if you burn it indoors, especially with the windows closed, it could be a heavy toxic carcinogen. So you don't want to do that. Okay. If you are going to use charcoal, only use a small piece, have all windows and doors open. So you're getting as much free open air as possible and don't necessarily sit up in the same room with the charcoal burning okay that's very important to know you really just need to kind of have the smoke freely flowing throughout the space but if you don't want to use charcoal you can use the smoke bowl stove top so what you can do is put it in a pot a cast iron skillet or any pot of your choice put the herbs in there put the stove on low and kind of just keep tossing the herbs around and allow them to freely slowly burn and allow the smoke to slowly release now, what's most important when you are smudging, of course, is setting your intention and also ensuring that the smoke gets everywhere you desire, especially if you are using it for spiritual purposes. So using it for spiritual purposes would essentially mean you are using it to attract a certain energy or to release energy. So you want to have all the windows open and you want to ensure that the smoke is getting in each and every corner of the room. So open up your closets, open up your cabinets, open up the doors, the closet doors, the bathroom door, everywhere, and just make sure that the smoke is freely traveling throughout your entire space the home office wherever you are using this practice now the tutorial you are about to see is my personal smoke bowl tutorial now this is only one of the many types of smoke bowls that i do um i usually put a variety of different herbs in my smoke bowl but please note that i'm only using a palm full of lavender as the foundation of this bowl and then everything else is just a pinch so you don't need much the most powerful thing you need is your intention enjoy the tutorial so this is my little cauldron i use for my mini smoke bowls it's not that big it's the perfect size to do like a small smoke bowl now i'm going to line this with some foil because in this specific smoke bowl i'm going to be adding some saps and maybe uh some resins that will melt down and stick to the bowl if i don't line it with some foil or like some wax paper you can use foil wax paper um baking sheets anything that you desire but i'm going to use foil Okay, now that my bowl is lined, I'm going to add the first herb, which is going to be some lavender. That's going to be like my foundational herb. La lavender is good for easing anxiety, stress relief, peace, calm, and all that good stuff. Next, I'm adding some clove. Clove is good for protection, banishing negative energy, and all of that. So we're going to just add that on top. Now I'm just going to add a pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt for the same reason. It's for protection and for clearing and removing any negative energy any energy that is not aligned with our wellness now i'm adding some basil basil is good for wealth prosperity abundance peace energy good manifestation herb as well as protection holy basil tulsi is also good for protection as well that's a good dispelling herb and going in now is some cinnamon for peace positivity prosperity abundance and love and now we have some sandalwood which sandalwood is good for divination meditation increased intuition as well as success okay so some good sandalwood now for the specific resin that i'm using that is going to melt down and would have stuck to my bowl if i didn't line it this is dragon's blood so this is pure ground down powdered dragon's blood that i kind of ground down and powdered myself dragon's blood is an all-purpose healer okay it was traditionally used to heal anything from gastrointestinal issues to respiratory issues everything it's also good for increased intuition protection and prosperity so we're just going to add that right on up in there now i'm going to add some ground black pepper for protection of my manifestations of my wellness and to speed up all positive energy and love you can use cayenne pepper or any type of chili for the same purpose 
And lastly, to stir this all together, to bring it all together, I'm going to use a bay leaf. Bay leaf is for dispelling. Bay leaf is for protection. So it is to seal and protect the energy of my manifestations. It is to remove any negative energy, anything that is not of my wellness. It shall be blocked. All things love and light and peace and abundance in this smoke bowl. And it is so, it is so, it is so, it is well, it is well, it is well. I say, amen, amen. And y'all, this is the smoke bowl. I did add a few things off camera that I choose to keep like private and sacred. And even with those additions, the bowl is small, y'all. It's not a big bowl at all. And it's literally probably like one third of the way full. Okay, but yes, I keep my little bay leaf tucked on the side. I add my small piece of charcoal. Again, you don't need a whole piece. I put the charcoal on top because it burns slower that way. So it'll only burn a small corner of the bowl and it will burn much slower. With the, the herbs will burn slower so the bowl will last longer, okay? So I'm going to light my, light my charcoal. It is well, it is peace, it is light, it is so. It's important to note that while the smoke bowl is burning, all windows are open as well in order to release energies and welcome energies and just for good respiratory health as well. <laughs> I also just wanted to show y'all the progress. Do you see the dragon's blood sap there? You see how it's melting? And that those pieces aren't even close to the charcoal, but it's a sap. So it'll melt down and it gets real bubbly and sizzly it's beautiful and it smells so good again it's all healing all purpose it's a beautiful beautiful resin beautiful sap to have and that is it family that is my smoke bowl tutorial again this is just one of the many smoke bowls that i do you don't need much family get whatever herbs that are aligned with the intentions that you have and you can breathe this smoke in you can actually roll it up and smoke it if you want to because yes you can smoke herbs okay but this is for the smoke bowl so if you are using it for physical healing properties breathe the smoke in make sure that you are in an open space you're getting consistent fresh air now if you are using it for specific spiritual energy purposes have all of the windows and doors open make sure that the smoke is able to travel all throughout the home you may want to walk around your space and pray which is something I do I'll walk around my space and pray and as I move the energy all throughout my home and everything like that but you just do what is the line for you and what is for your wellness now it's important to note that you do want to pass the smoke over your body as well because you want to be able to cleanse and release the energy from your being being and then release it from your space as well okay family so that's just a couple tips now i'm gonna stop right here because i can keep on going with the tips and the advice when it comes to smudging and smoke walls it's a practice that i love i've been doing it forever it feels like okay i really really enjoy it and i hope you do too much love family peace